Hey there, YouTube Medwitch here. Um, so I want to play a a video, uh, a majority of the part. Um, uh, I am using this under the fair use. Um, it is an older video. It was August of last year, so so it's it, it, it's fairly old. But I came across it, and I just I almost broke my glasses face palming myself so damn hard. It's the uh, just here. Welcome back to Here's Why. We took a break because I didn't have video editing software, but I now I do, and it's actually functional, which means you're going to get a lot more videos from me. Get ready. So there's this video that's been making its way around the internets. The link to the video is in the description. Uh, trigger warning for massive amounts of what in the actual fuck are you talking about? Here's the basic gist. I don't need feminism because I believe in equality, not entitlements and supremacy. Third wave feminism is not, in fact, a movement for equality. Okay, so third wave feminism is not a movement for equality. I want you guys to remember that because that is important to what's about to come up. Around 100,000 to 140,000 males are raped annually in U.S. prisons. This is more males raped than females in the U.S. annually. Men are objectified. Men are raped. Men are mistreated. Men are held to ridiculously high societal standards. Now, I like this chick. She's actually telling the truth, and it's a chick talking about this. So when you're sitting here talking about it, men this, men that... She just, she just said it right here, and yes, it is, in fact, that even today's, you know, it, it is sexist, period. You know, guys, guys look at other guys and be like, well, you're not taking care of your woman, you're a stay-at-home father, you're this, you're that, you know, what the hell. This happens all the time, you know, and that's just how it is. I mean, even, even other guys are sexist towards other guys. And, you know, all of this is unfortunate. But I like how she puts it. She's putting it very well. But she's not the one I'm I, I'm worried about. I just wanted I just wanted to point it out that she's she actually seems very, very intelligent to me. And uh, I wanna be watching more of her videos uh, to come. Just like women argue that feminism is a movement for equality and doesn't just represent one gender's issues is quite frankly ridiculous. What in the actual fuck is wrong with you? First of all, women. Woman is singular. Women is plural. And I assume you know that woman is singular because you refer to yourself as woman, not women. I don't know what she's getting all pissy about. Um, the way that the other lady was talking was actually... <laughs> very 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 correct like more correct than what i could ever possibly do i do like to like use fancy words and stuff but the way that she phrased her her thoughts was the correct way to phrase her thoughts so you can just walk off bitch and that's just a really big pet peeve of mine. A feminist is someone who believes in the political, social, and economic equality of the genders. Exactly. Of the genders. There's debate as to if it's genders or sexes. Personally, I say genders because inclusivity and intersectionality. So there were three things that got me in this video. Here's the first one. If feminism really were a movement for equality, you would see feminists rioting about the 140,000 men raped. Men get raped. Women get raped. Rape is rape. To say that one kind of rape is more deserving of our attention than another kind of rape is ridiculous. And what you just said was ridiculous. She is not implying that feminists who are in for equality of races is... She's not saying that Guys getting raped in prison isn't it? She's she's not saying that it's as 
that it's as bad or worse than a woman getting raped in her own home. She's questioning the fact that, you know, feminists claim the this third wave, she she called it, this third wave of feminism is claims to be the uh, a movement for equality of genders. And if it is such an equality of genders, then why aren't the feminists saying, hey, all these guys are getting raped in prison? You know, why? And it's not even in prison. There are actual there are actually cases where women rape men. It's very rare, but it does happen. Feminists and really just kind of like any decent human being in general thinks that rape is wrong. There's no splicing and dicing and mincing of words. This is not Top Chef Rape Culture Edition. The second thing that pissed me off was this. If feminism is a movement for equality, why do we not see equal representation of both genders issues? The awkward love child of Iggy Azalea and Jenna Marbles has a point. And this gets into the debate about why it's feminism and not humanism. It's about evening out the game. Equality means that everyone is playing the same game, on the same field, with the same rules. So to even out the top, you have to lift up the bottom. That's how you put everyone on the same playing field. Feminism is not about women dominating men and taking dominion over the universe. The third wave is. The third wave is... You know, there's, there's a reason why people are dubbing it feminazi instead of feminism. And it's because this this new, this, this evolved form of feminism is actually trying to put, instead of your even playing field, you know, you're trying to make the playing field uneven again except this time in favor of women I'm not saying that it's that it's wrong you know equal playing field great but to have one over the other some somebody's getting fucked up somewhere it's a much harder and longer road than that taking over the universe is easy you send beyonce to the moon on a fucking rocket but feminism is about leveling a playing field that has existed with half the field hanging over a cliff, dragged by gravity for, I'm going to say, the last 500 years. Ending a... Try almost, I don't know, 2,500 years? Um, when... When the Jewish faith came out, that's when women were starting to be put under. The Christian and Islamic races still kind of do it today. It's basically saying where women are less than men constantly, even in their own books, women are less than men. So it's been more than just 500 years. If you're talking about just here in America, you need to look all over the world. Women have more rights here in America than they do in the Middle East. So... Check yourself. System that has systematically treated women as objects for centuries? That's a little harder. That's why it takes everyone to be on board with this. And by this, I mean feminism. Which brings me to my main point. When I do response videos, I respond to most of the content on the videos. And while I have a lot of problems with the content of this video, the content of the video is not quite the problem. Hear me out. Videos like these are proof of a wider spread issue. The big message of the video is that Lauren Sutherland is not a feminist because she believes that feminism doesn't help men as much as it claims to. Let's pretend, just for the sake of argument, that this is true. Just for shits and gigs. This isn't a matter of pretending for shits and gigs that it's not true. This is a fact. Modern day feminism, this third wave of feminism, this feminazism, does not care one bit about equality. They care about supremacy. And you can see this all over YouTube, all over BuzzFeed, all over Twitter, all over Facebook. 
pick a media outlet, it's there. It's, it's, it's just fucked up. Feminism, a movement designed to empower women, doesn't help men. So what? You, and I mean you specifically watching this video, you are not the caliber that decides if something is a worthy cause. And neither am I. And that's There's a difference between worthy cause, such as Martin Luther King. His was a worthy cause. Basically, to stop segregation between blacks and whites. That was a worthy cause. But to say something like feminazi basically trying to be superior, which is what they're trying to do, this is not a worthy cause. A worthy cause would have been feminism back in the day to where it's like, hey, us women don't have much rights, we can't vote, we can't get jobs, we want to vote, we want to get jobs, make it happen. That was a worthy cause. It's just a general rule. That rule has been taken probably by Meryl Streep. I can dislike the cause, I can think the cause is racist, I can think it's sexist, or I can think it's just downright fucking stupid. But Mind that doesn't change the that fact moment. that there are people who believe in it. And whether I like it or not, there are people who believe in Donald Trump, and it's horrifying. But my horror doesn't delete them from the universe. That's not really how it works. What I'm saying is that a cause should not have to directly benefit you in order to garner your support. What's interesting is that feminine... I don't know who's, I, I don't know where, where she's, where she's getting to where it's directly benefiting a, a particular group. The feminism in and of itself didn't benefit a particular group. It just made it to where women now have a voice. Women now are able to get jobs and, you know, make a life the way that guys can make a life. You know, that's what. You know, it wasn't benef it wasn't benefiting the women. It was just putting them on that equal playing field. Granted, it didn't happen as fast. Ooh, it didn't happen as fast or you know as properly as it could have. Granted, but it didn't benefit the women and it didn't benefit the men. It didn't benefit anybody. Feminism literally did not benefit anybody. It just made it to where women got more rights. And it's not so much of a benefit to have equal rights. It's just, you know, equal rights. It's equality. Nobody's being... Nobody's up here. You know, it's not like this. It's like this. This is equality. This is benefit. Equality, benefit. Equality, benefit. Right now, I don't see much of people being up here. It's more like this. It's more like this, not like this. This is benefit. So, I don't know where she's getting this argument from. Feminism is the only cause that we do this for. There's not a person in the world who heard the story of Cecil the Lion, got impassioned about animal rights, and said, wait, what do I get out of this? We don't do that for other causes. Even the Black Lives Matters movement, one of the most controversial, which it really shouldn't be, because there's really nothing controversial about thinking that people should not be killed. It is controversial, actually, when the movement is trying to is basically promoting racism to say that just black lives matter or just to say black lives matter what if it was what if i said white lives matter you know then then what you know what if i said white property matters you know people get robbed all the fucking time what if i said said you know white women's purses matter old ladies purses matter you know now i'm now i'm being I'm, I'm generalizing i'm smashing you into a group and it's just this group that matters right now that's that's what that's saying is that it's just this group matters just this group matters and i actually did do a, a video on black lives matter so you can check that out as well one of the most controversial movements of the decade does not have crazy white folk taken to the streets saying what about me what do i get out of the fact that a black person gets 
chance to live. And if you need any other proof that we are living in a patriarchal society, consider the fact that we are deciding the validity of a cause based on whether or not it helps men. That is the definition of patriarchy. I don't have anything more than that. That's the Patriarchy. I'll let Google read it to you. Patriarchy. A system of society or government in which the father or eldest male is head of the family and descent is traced through the male line. This is what's called the surname. A system of society or government in which men hold the power and women are largely excluded from it. A society or community organized on patriarchal ideas. I'm sorry, but I don't see where she's, she's getting that we live in a patriarchal society. Granted, for the majority of the part, it has been... We have had male presidents, um, but that shouldn't that shouldn't be anywhere near the case for her for her saying that I mean, this this is not saying males have more privilege or or well it is saying that they are worth more I guess I suppose but. I think she needs to do a little bit of history because there is a a monarchy, a a, a, a matriarchy, and that's you know that's this England. You know, I mean, the Queen, the Queen of England. I mean, it's it's run by a woman. You know, it's, it's, she she's she's the head honcho. She's she's up here while everybody else is down here. You know, so that, that's a woman, who rules over her nation and well before uh christianity matriarchal systems thrived especially before we actually started to like settle down and create societies and communities and uh band together we were matriarchal we were ruled by the women because we thought women were, you know, up here because they're the ones who give us life. They're the ones, you know, they, you know, that's how that was. So the rest of her video isn't really, isn't really much, but I will leave it at there. I just had to, I just had to say, I, I Again, this is an old, this is an older video of hers. Uh, it is from August, but I came across it and I just couldn't believe the stupidity that came out of her mouth. Now the the other chick, like she was actually telling some truth. I forgot her name now. I said it several times in this video, but I will have a link to this video in my description. And she does have the link to the other video in her description. Um, so watch them both. Come to your own conclusions. And uh, as always, blessed be.